Hi, my name is Jim Merle and welcome to episode three of my AppTouch series. We can see in the Azure portal here, I've got four applications delivered via AppTouch. Let's have a look at the Windows Terminal Preview. Um, it is delivered to one uh, of my host pools and it is delivered to all of my users. If we have a look at the overview, we can see that it is currently version 1.19. And what I'm going to do is log on with two different users. Now, we can see that both users are on version 1.19. And that both users are on the same host, user 1 and user 2. Now, I'm just going to log user one off. So now we're back in the Azure portal. I'm going to have a look at Winget. To see <coughs> if there is a new version. So if we do Winget show we can see that uh, version 122 is available. Uh, it also gives us an installer URL for that and an installer type of uh, MSIX. Now I could use the URL to download, but actually I'm going to download via Winget. Um, if you notice, I've added the skip dependencies um, switch there. So this will also download your dependencies if you need to, and it will nicely check the hash of the downloaded file. So in the background, I'm just going to convert that to a disk image and upload it to storage, just like I showed you in episode one of this series. So now that's done in the background, let's update The application. I'm going to browse my storage account and browse for files. There is our 1.22. I'm going to use a SIM file. Let's select the 64 bit version and we're going to update that application. So session notes check um, on boot and every five minutes for a new uh, application to be assigned. Now notice we didn't need to redo the host pool assignments or the user assignments. So I'm just gonna wait a couple of minutes uh, so that that uh, session host knows that uh, everything's been updated. Notice that um, user two is still logged on So now a couple of minutes have passed and we've just logged on to the desktop of user one. So notice the pinning of the app to the taskbar is still fine. And um, we can just do, and who am I again? If we have a look at the um, about, we can see that both users are still uh, logged on, um, but they're using different versions. So that means that you can update the application without needing to force your users to log off. They will get the new version of the application the next time they log on. So your users will never see, please restart this application to update. Um, they will never have their workflow interrupted when you're updating their application. And you can provide any um, uh, MSIX application like this. Um, that was all for today. Um, thank you very much. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button. And if you want to see more, hit subscribe. Thank you.